It was about a week ago when Konami revealed the Slifer the Sky Dragon and Obelisk the Tormentor structure decks and that was a pretty big moment. This is how we are getting those OCG Prismatic God Box cards in the TCG which is obviously very exciting and this is a pretty cool idea. I know that I personally will miss having a TCG equivalent of the Prismatic God Box but I still think that these will sell very well and I think that people were really excited when they saw the announcement. Recently, I did a poll on my channel where I asked you guys if you had to choose which deck would you pick up, and more people said Slifer. Not that many more, but more people said Slifer. So in today's video, we are talking about the Slifer structure deck, and maybe I'll do an Obelisk video in a few days, or maybe even tomorrow, who really knows? But in today's video, we are going to be going over the cards that we have confirmed for the Slifer deck, and the cards that I feel Konami will include in these decks. This is all going to be speculation on that regard, but I still think that we do have a decent idea of some of the options that Konami will be considering putting into this deck. And the reason that we have some idea as opposed to no idea is that Konami did give us descriptions of these structure decks, and that is pretty important because it means that Konami is telling us, okay, here's the types of cards we are going to include in here, even if they aren't willing to tell us right now what those cards are exactly. So in today's video, we're going to go over those descriptions and I'm going to give my opinions on the cards that Konami could include in them. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe for more content. And please let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do the same video for Obelisk on a future day. So what do we know for sure? What is confirmed at this point? Well, we do know that the Slifer and the Obelisk deck are going to both have Soul Crossing, that Monarch Stormforth card that a lot of people are pretty excited for. This makes a lot of sense. It's a great card for any Egyptian God deck, and it's also even good in a Raw deck if you wanted to play one of those as well. So that is confirmed, and we do know that. We also know that Thunder Force Attack will be in the Slifer deck. This is a quick play spell Slifer support that was in the Prismatic God box, and that makes a lot of sense. You know, this is not only a big card for Slifer, but also on the packaging it is the main card artwork so those are the only two cards that we actually know are going to be in the deck besides Slifer itself of course but let's take a look at the description that Konami gave us and see what we can learn Slifer powers up depending on how many cards you have in your hand so this deck uses token generating effects to help you gather the three required tributes while using fewer cards in your hand after you have Slifer on the field powered up with cards let you draw more cards like the brand new Thunder Force attack. So as we can see, the deck is going to include cards that draw cards and cards that generate tokens. And this does make a lot of sense because on paper, those two things do help out Slifer quite a bit. Now, one thing I want to mention here that a lot of people, myself included, have kind of gotten wrong is that these things are not actually structure decks. It makes the most amount of sense to title videos saying structure decks because they are pretty much structured decks, but technically that is not in their name. Konami is only calling these Egyptian God decks. They're not starter decks, they're not structured decks, so we really don't know how competitive these will be. Starter decks are designed to help you learn how to play Yu-Gi-Oh by giving you like one of each card type as far as the main deck goes, and structured decks are designed to be more competitive. With these decks though, who's to say how casual or competitive they will be? We know we'll have that King's Court set a few weeks after these that is going to have some world premiere cards that supposedly help out the Egyptian gods, but as far as these decks go, who really knows? I'm guessing it's going to be more casual. I think that makes the most amount of sense, especially for the audience that these decks are going to appeal to the most, but maybe they'll surprise me and make them super competitive. Anyway, here's some of the cards that I feel Konami could easily put into the Slifer deck, but these are not confirmed. I'm just speculating off of that description that we read a couple minutes ago. 
First up, I think that Ra's Disciple, while it is kind of off theme, I think this easily could be in the deck. It is one of the better ways to summon the God cards. It puts three tributes on the board right away, and that could be a pretty decent card in these decks. One thing with Ra's Disciple that makes me think they might not include it, though, is that I don't even know if Konami has ever included a three of in a structure deck. I can't think of any off the top of my head, and obviously with Ra's Disciple, you would would pretty much have to have a full three copies for it to make any sense. I suppose Konami could give you just two copies, I mean they have done that before plenty of times, but then Ra's Disciple is not as impressive. So if they really wanted to make Ra's Disciple a big point of this deck, a big way to summon the god cards, they would pretty much have to give you a full three copies, and I'm not sure if they're willing to do that because in the past I'm pretty sure they haven't as far as I know. Let's talk about some token generating effects. I really think that Scape Ghost will be in the Slifer deck. It is one of the better token generating cards and it puts a ton of tokens on the board which is really nice because it means if your opponent runs over like one or two of them it doesn't really matter you can still tribute some of that Slifer on your next turn. And I think that is pretty good. I know a lot of fans of the god cards like Scape Ghost a lot Personally, I don't think it's the best card in a real competitive Egyptian god deck. It is a little bit slow, but it makes a lot of sense for a structure deck or a deck like this. Now, I didn't even know about this card, but when I was looking through all of the token generating card effects, I saw this card called Graveyard of Wandering Souls from Dual Overload. And it says, if this card is already face up on the field, if a monster you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, special summon one fireball token pyro fire level one attack 100 defense 100 if a monster or monsters in your hand and or field is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect special summon as many fireball tokens as possible up to the number of sent monsters you can only use this effect of graveyard of wandering souls once per turn if i was making a slifer structure deck and i was trying to get people to summon tokens to make the summoning of slifer a little bit easier i would would include Graveyard of Wandering Souls. I think this card is pretty good. It puts more and more tokens on your board as time goes on, and I think that does make summoning Slifer a lot easier. So I like this card a lot. Yes, it would be kind of an early reprint. Usually cards are older when they get reprinted in structure decks, but by June, I mean it will have been over a year since this card had been released, and I think it's perfectly fine to include it in the Slifer deck. Two cards I think Konami might put in the structure deck, but I'm not as confident about are Fiend Sanctuary and Cosmic Compass. Fiend Sanctuary is an okay way to summon a token and the token does have a pretty cool effect, but it only summons one token and it seems like Konami wants cards to summon multiple tokens just going off of the description. Cosmic Compass does summon a lot of tokens but the card is so slow. I don't really feel like this is a good card for Slifer players but maybe it will be included just because it does summon a lot of tokens. I will say even though it would be a good addition to the deck I would be very very surprised if Reactor Slime or any of the Rage of Raw cards are in either of these decks. I think this card would be a good fit for an actual Slifer deck. I mean, it does summon tokens, but I would be pretty surprised if Konami was willing to reprint any of the Rage of Raw cards in either of the decks. These will probably be in like the little advertisement section in the decks where it says, buy these packs to power up your strategy. I would imagine that they would tell you to buy Rage of Raw to pull Reactor Slime for your Slifer deck. I will say one one final note here on the token generating effects. If Konami really pushes tokens in this deck, there might also be cards like Token Stampede to boost their stats. I don't know how realistic that is, that's why I'm saying it last. But if Konami really does push like every card in the deck can generate a token or draw cards, maybe they'll include some of the other token support. The other half of the Slifer deck, as far as that description tells us, is going to be about 
about drawing cards. Obviously, Slifer gains stats if you have more cards in your hand. So I do think that a card like Supply Squad would make a lot of sense in the Slifer deck. This card has actually only ever been printed in starter and structure deck releases, so it makes sense for it to be included in yet another structure deck, and I think that it does go pretty well along with the Slifer theme. I also feel like a card like Reckless Greed might be included, maybe even two copies. It's a pretty good way to draw cards quickly. I also think we might see Pot of Desires getting another structure deck reprint. It was in that Spell Counter structure deck from a little while ago. It was in the Sacred Beast structure deck from not too long ago. And we might see Jar of Avarice or Pot of Avarice as well. Those ones I'm a little bit less confident about, but I think that Pot of Desires is pretty likely. Hard Card D and Morphing Jar also seem like good choices. They're not super competitive right now, but like I said, I really don't think Konami is trying to make a super competitive Slifer deck. They know the audience of the God cards and the audience is more casual. So I think that Card Card D and Morphing Jar could be good choices and they've been reprinted plenty of times in starter and structure decks before. Finally, even though the card is not that great, I could maybe see Konami potentially including Good Goblin Housekeeping in the deck like as a two of because while this card is not super great, it hasn't been reprinted in a very long time. The last printing was 2006, and it does kind of go along with the idea of a Slifer deck, and maybe it's good cycling to sort of unbrick your hand, I don't really know. Good Goblin Housekeeping is not the greatest card, especially by 2021 standards, but because it's been so long since it's had a reprint, and because it kind of goes along with the Slifer strategy, I could could see Konami maybe including it in the deck. Anyway, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below which cards you feel Konami will include in the Slifer deck, as well as let me know if you want me to make this video on the Obelisk deck too. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.